vacation independence, where you can travel the world, make a lot of money, and live your life to the fullest. It's one of those rare books that comes once in a while which dramatically redefines everything people have taught you. Becoming a millionaire was never easier than it is today, and the 4-hour work week is definitely a great stepping stone in the right direction. A while back, we also did a video on Tim Ferriss. We'll link to that in the card on the top right. Number 7. The Millionaire Fast Lane When to read? Immediately after you read The 4-Hour Workweek. This book by MJ DeMarco is less known than the rest, but we wanted to include it because it actively dismisses all the popular books. It goes hard and deep into every major book on this list, and the arguments are strong. It showcases his personal story, and this might be the right strategy for those who think, go big or go home. We definitely recommend checking it out. Number 8. The Power of Habit When to read? When you feel like you're procrastinating all the time. You know habits are what makes or breaks us, right? Well, Charles Duhigg's book dives right into the science of how habits are created and how to alter them to your personal gain. The stories that Duhigg has knitted together are all fascinating in their own right, but take on an added dimension when wedded to his extermination of habits. If you're struggling with bad habits and looking to acquire better ones, then this is the book for you. Number 9. Atlas Shrugged when to read? When you're on holiday and need something to keep your mind busy. Oh, people are going to be so mad we put Ayn Rand in here. But to be honest, the people who are going to get mad don't read as much anyway, so we don't care. This is Mark Cuban's favorite book. He says that in it, you'll find everything you need to know about how to be successful in life. Atlas Shrugged is not a business book, it's a science fiction, romance, mystery novel. It outlines Ayn Rand's groundbreaking philosophy on objectivism. Get the book, you're either going to love it or hate it, there's not really much wiggle room in there. Number 10. How to Win Friends and Influence People When to Read When you feel that you're never taken seriously by others and don't know how to build real relations with anybody. This is another one of the classics. Dale Carnegie's masterpiece breaks down the fundamentals of how humans work and what it takes to make them like you. In it, you'll learn how to handle people, how to make them interested in you, how to bring them over to your way of thinking, how to change people without offending them, and how to be happier at home. It might sound like a lot, but this is one of those books that will apply to everyday life until the day robots finally take over. Number 11. The $100 Startup when to read? When you want to start a business but you feel like you don't have enough money to do it. Would you look at that? Another book that you've probably never heard about or mentioned in our mainstream publications. This has to do with the establishment. Whenever one of the guys previously mentioned on the list drops a new book, they're all over it. It just so happens that most of them missed this gem. We wanted to include the $100 startup on this list because it was fundamental in our beginning. The book looks at how you can establish a lucrative business without spending more than $100. There are so many businesses that have been quite successful without any serious seed money. This book is filled with case studies and gets right to the point. Number 12. The Monk Who Sold His Ferrari When to read? When you feel that, despite making a ton of money, you're not happy. Now that you already have your investments and your companies running and profitable, it's time to take a look at the later stages in business. In this book, Robin Sharma does a phenomenal job of translating why money doesn't bring happiness and what to do about it. If you've already made it but you don't yet feel happy or at peace with your life, this is the book for you. If you're interested in learning more about Robin Sharma, there's a video on our channel. Click in the top right corner to get to it. Number 13. E-Myth Revisited – Why Most Small Businesses Don't Work and What to Do About It When to Read? If You're Struggling With Your First Business They say it's an instant classic. Gerber walks you through the steps in the life of a business, from entrepreneurial infancy to adolescent growing pains to the mature entrepreneurial perspective, the guiding light of all businesses that succeed, and shows how to apply the lessons of franchising to any business, whether or not it's a franchise. Most importantly, Gerber draws the vital distinction between working on your business and working in your business. Number 14. The 10x Rule – The Only Difference Between Success and Failure When to read? When your business is no longer growing. 
Grant Cardone is an interesting figure. We like his books because he usually cuts to the chase and there are no fancy words, no secret strategies, just pure American muscle. And by American muscle, we mean sales. He's known for his ability to close down sales, an ability which got him to where he is today. The 10x rule is the type of book that will make a lot of sense, but you might be reluctant to apply it because you're too lazy. Number 15. Zero to one. When to read? When you're ready to disrupt an entire industry. Peter Thiel is the founder of PayPal and Palantir. If you haven't heard about one of those, you definitely heard about the other. He made billions in the new economy. This is a short book, so it's easy to go through it, but don't underestimate it. Its contents hit the targets in all the right spots and will make you think of the world differently. The book is based on a class he once taught at a master's program at Stanford University, a class which we're proud to say we took. It focuses on what the future holds, what the current state of the startup world is, and what industries are to be disrupted next. We know there are a ton of other books we could have mentioned, so that's why we're going to do a part two for this video. Which books do you think we should include in the second part of this video? Let us know in the comments below. As for those of you still watching till the end, we've created a special forum where Aluxers discuss the things they've learned from books and from life. You can find it at alux.com question. If you ask us a question there, we promise we'll do our best to answer it directly. You're welcome. Thank you for spending some time with us, Aluxers. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpicked these videos, which we recommend you watch next. Thank you for being an Aluxer, and we'll see you back tomorrow.